I didn't want to come out to, for a walk today, but here I am. It's actually warmer than I thought because of the sun. Today, daylight savings ended, so we gained an hour. At least we didn't lose an hour, but it's such a stupid thing. They should get rid of it, and it seems like it's going to take at least a few years, even if it does happen, so... Well, we got to live with it for now. Today's plan is to do chest and back, push-ups and pull-ups, also to read and do stream of consciousness writing. Okay, so let's get to it. Huge willow tree at the end of this trail. It's a very nice ending to the trail. It's 7.30 p.m. and I still haven't worked out yet. I've been kind of dreading it all day. Even in the morning when I said I was going to do push-ups and pull-ups, I didn't really feel like doing it. And so I've kind of, well, I had some stuff to do, but other than that, I could have done it like at 4 or 5 p.m., but I read for over an hour, kind of procrastinating, and here it is, 7.30. Still haven't worked out yet, so... Oh, fuck it, let's do it, man. Let's do it right now. Do it now! Do it live! Uh, we'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Okay, enough procrastinating. The goal is the usual 50 pull-ups and 65 push-ups. So that's 6 minutes, 25 pull-ups, 37 push-ups. So now is the second half, which is where it gets tough. Let's do it. It's just over 12 minutes. That's 40 pull-ups and 60 push-ups, so I got 10 more pull-ups to go. That's a record for me. 16 minutes for 50 pull-ups and 73 push-ups. I'm definitely getting faster and stronger. So, I gotta keep it up. Man, I'm glad I did that today. I did it. I really didn't want to do it, and I was dreading it the whole day, but I actually hit my personal best time, 16 minutes. That's the fastest I've ever done it. 50 pull-ups, that is, and I even did over 70 push-ups, 73 push-ups, so... I'm getting stronger just by doing it in a much shorter time and doing more push-ups given the same amount of pull-ups. So my chest is getting relatively stronger than my biceps and back, I suppose, my laterals. Anyways, I was, now that it's over, I'm proud that I did it. I just didn't want to do it all day. And uh, at the beginning of this challenge of doing this 1% better every day and working out, it wasn't that much of a drag working out in the beginning, but just recently, over the last few days, it's been kind of been like a dreading thing since the morning. Like, oh, I have to work out. I don't want to work out. And I don't know if it's because I've just been doing it for many consecutive days. I mean, I skipped one day, but still mostly consistent. So I don't know if it's just adding on my mental, what do you call it? Like it's the load is becoming bigger in my mind and it's just... It's like I'm dragging a bigger and bigger load and it's getting heavier and heavier in my mind. So I don't know. It's not like a walk, right? My walks are not, I don't dread it. Although there are some days I don't want to do it, but I don't dread it as much as working out because it's it's not that difficult. So yeah, it's uh, it's kind of weighing down on my mind these days, working out that is. Having said that, I don't want to give up. I mean, I guess it's also because I don't have a really strong why as to working out. Like, yes, it's good for your mental health, it's good for your mood, it's good for your energy level, it's good for your muscles and bones, it's good for your heart health, it's good for so many things, but all that doesn't really 
resonate with my core. It's not like something I am truly desiring, and it makes a it doesn't grip me emotionally. Like there's no there's no supercharged reason as to why I'm working out other than I want to look good and feel good about my body. But even that is not like it's not like a really strong emotional pull. So it's not a strong motivator. I guess the biggest problem is I don't have a really strong why. And he who has a why can bear any how. The quote goes something like that by Nietzsche. He who has a why can bear any how. And I don't have a strong why. But as long as I keep taking one step after another, I wonder if it'll just get tougher and tougher as the days go by. I don't know. It kind of has been over the last like seven, eight, eight days. So we'll see. We'll see if I can keep it up. But uh, walking, I'm definitely gonna try and do every day. And working out, if I could continue to do this almost every day, that would be that would be great. But it's it's tough, man. Mentally, it's tough more than physically. It's mentally draining. Okay, so that's enough of a rant about working out. One percent better every day, baby.